What about that? Guys, look at this. This is why they call me the Quarter Pro Gamer. What is up guys, Fawn is back with another episode of Minecraft, and today I'm going to start trying to work on some more automated farms so that I can start gathering resources while I'm uh, doing other things. Um, so, I've already started building out uh, the first one I want to start with, so this is going to be a cow crusher basically. I'm going to get a couple cows in here and put a fence post above it so that they can't escape, some water down there, they're just going to float up. I'm going to feed them wheat, they're going to reproduce, and eventually when there's... 24 or more in there, they will start entity cramming, which means uh, there's too many entities in a one block space, so they will start dying off until there's only 24 left, and then they will drop leather and beef into a hopper down there that goes right into this chest. Uh, so I gotta go get me some cows. Alright, and then it's just a matter of kind of actually getting them in this little hole, which, like all mobs, is a little aggravating, but, you know, with the delicate touch, It'll work. He says, no, sir. I'll stay out of the hole of death. There he goes. Um, yeah. So, that's that. You get a fence post up there. Just like that. And then, you just need to get a bucket of water. Not in your upside-down slab. And yeah, they just float up. You feed them. And they breed, and then eventually you have enough and they start dying. So, yeah, that's simple. So next up, I'm going to get a villager breeder going. Because um, I'm going to need villagers. So basically what we got here is we have this nice little contraption. I'm going to grab two villagers from the villages over there. Uh, get them in here. And basically what's going to happen is they're going to be stuck in here, except for at nighttime. At nighttime, they'll go into these beds here and sleep. Um, and then I can give them food. They'll start breeding. It's a little village. And the baby will fall through this little, uh, this fence post and it'll fall down into here. Um, and then I'm going to make a little contraption where I can just drop in a, uh, a mine cart and it'll go and pick that guy up and then bring him pretty much where I want him. And then in order to pick up the villagers, we have this little contraption. You just drop a minecraft down, a uh, mine cart down and kind of go through that block. It should pick out that villager and take it wherever the rail leads. Now the hardest part should be getting the villagers over here. Um, to my base, but I already got a couple in boats. So I guess we'll let him try. Oh, oh no. Okay, yeah, that was fine. See, that was safe. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna, we're gonna grab some villagers over there and I'll come back. And then one trick for getting villagers in boats up ledges, which isn't the most efficient thing ever, but you know, it does a trick is to grab a piston, like so, a block of redstone, and go boop, and then, yeah, I mean, you should be good to go. Alright, so I got a little cage built up, so the only place they can really go is to their beds, it's getting night time, so they should be wanting to sleep, probably gonna hit one. I try to break this. Uh, okay. So they should hopefully want to go to sleep. That dude did. This guy doesn't, which is unfortunate. I don't know why. Probably because I just hit him. Yeah, it's not good. Let's see. No. Oh, okay. So that dude went to sleep. So, let's get rid of all of this. Hopefully I don't get blown up by a creeper and it ruins everything. But yeah, we gotta get all this out of here, because now, if there's nothing for them to wake up on top of, they wake up on top of that uh, fence post. Which is important. We can. So these guys should wake up. What was that? Yeah, so these guys wake up right up in here. All right? Everything's looking correct, I believe. That's just how I got them up there. Um, yeah, let's see this. I want to give them a place to go, because that would break everything. Yeah, now they're both stuck in there, so now... 
when I give them food, they breed. The little baby drops down there, and I can make them go wherever I want. So now, I need food. Which, uh, yeah, we have a little bit of bone meal, so, yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of carrots. And, um, yeah, then we're gonna breed them. Kind of see, make sure this thing works and whatnot. Alright, so I got some carrots. Um, so I think now I just... Okay, let's see. We gotta be strategic about this, because we're dumb. Um, I got that back, so yeah. We got some carrots, and I guess now we uh, we'll just kind of drop them off and hope that they pick them up. They pick those up. I don't know how many they need, but I'm giving them all of these, so. Yeah, that should, that should be good. And then they eventually should start, start breeding. Alright, cool. Yeah, so, let's see what happens. They're throwing carrots around. We got some hearts. Which is promising. And then, yeah, a little fella drops right through. Let's just kind of make sure this thing works, huh? Does he have to be big? He shouldn't have to be big, right? Okay, well that didn't work. So maybe he does have to be big, or maybe I did it wrong. To be determined. So, while we wait for those villagers, um, I'm going to run to the nether and see if I can grab some uh, glowstone and some quartz. And yeah, hopefully that turns out well. I'm smelting some glass up as well right now, because we are going to need that very soon. I don't recall this place being very safe. Yeah, look at that. There's those guys over there. I'm gonna die here. I can already tell. But, we gotta try it, right? We gotta look for glowstone. I suppose we don't need glowstone. We could use... We could probably use one of these shroom blocks. Do I have food? I was like, did I come here without food? Because that sounds like me. Let's see if we could just get one of these real fast. We legit just need one. Well, I don't like the sound of that. These piglins will kill you in a second. I don't, I don't need quartz right now. But some of these guys have grown up now. Look at this, we got, I think we have at least four. We have maybe five in here. Some of these guys have grown up, so I'm hoping this actually works with the big ones. Like their hitboxes are bigger, and it doesn't. So this thing doesn't work. I think it's this guy right here that's broke. Uh, I guess we'll try to fix it. All right, so what needs to be happening... Well, what I did is I have these powered rails here, and I put this guy here, and these guys all connect, and it looks all nice, and yeah, your little minecart kind of goes through, and he's like, whoop. Um, what actually needs to happen is I need that rail to be up like that. So it looks like this. And then when I drop this guy, it's still, uh, it still connects, it goes through, but he actually pops up there. So when... I drop in a villager, um, like so. Oops! It actually picks him up. Well, that was that was a mistake, but yeah, you guys get get the idea. So now I need to figure out <laughs> how to resolve this because I have a bunch of villagers in that chamber now. Okay, guys, so next on the list is going to be a carrot farm. This is easily one of my favorite carrot farms that's ever existed. Basically, you get this nice little area. Um, you fill it all up with carrots. And then you get a villager in here. And the villager uh, in a composter in a bed. And the villager will start, like, picking up the carrots or whatever. Uh, farming it. And then you get another villager on the outside. On top of, like, a hopper minecart. And... So the villager picking the carrots will go and trade with that villager, and when they do, the hopper minecart will pick it up. And then so the hopper minecart picks up uh, all the carrots and takes it through a couple of uh, hoppers or whatever 
and into a storage system. And so you have an infinite supply of carrots um, without even having to do anything. And it's super convenient. So yeah, we're getting those villagers out from the villager breeder. And I'm just going to kind of finish up with some of the finishing touches here, namely, you know, getting all the carrots for it and uh, plowing all the grass and whatnot. But yeah, uh, so pretty soon we should have a pretty nice carrot farm, which will be helpful for getting more villagers in the breeder, as well as trading. So, I think... I should be able... to... fix this... like this? If I could get a good view... of the ground, perhaps? Perchance? Maybe not. Might have to go with the boat trick. The good old boat trick. Get right up in it? No. Does the glass have to be there? There's a way. Aha! Okay, this place is actually a mess. So, if I do this, that should be fine. Do that. What about that? Guys, look at this. This is why they call me the quarter pro gamer. Um, so that should be all good. So as I showed in my creative test world, this is going to work. This is going to work flawlessly. Uh, I'm not going to... Fine, I'll send someone through. I know you guys want me to, but I'll do it. Ooh. And look, now we got a villager just kind of chilling out here, ready to get eaten by zombies. It's perfect. Um, yeah, so we got that resolved. Right now I'm just waiting on getting enough carrots to actually... Uh, to fill up my farm. If we go over here, we have my carrot farm. And it's full of carrots. Sort of. Not really. I have some carrots. But, yeah. Um, so this thing's pretty close to being done. I have the two villagers out of the villager breeder. Which is good. I just need to get them over here. But I need to get this thing filled up with carrots. So that's kind of a, a bit of a grind. And I'm out of bone meal because of all the carrots that I needed to start breeding. Okay. So we have the first guy in place, so as you can see, he's kind of chilling in here, and basically we'll get the other villager in here. He'll be picking up carrots, and he'll go to trade the carrots with this guy, but those hopper minecarts will suck the carrots out and bring them right back into here. Um, we do want to lock this guy up so that he doesn't become a farmer, though, and I can. So now he's locked in. Oh, great. Um, yeah, so now he is locked in. And he's going to be stuck like that forever, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, so, yeah, I'm still still trying to get some enough carrots um, to fill this thing up. But, uh, yeah, once I do that, I should be able to get uh, the other guy in here, and this thing will be ready to go. All right, so I have all the carrots filled into this farm. I have a track built for my final villagers. We're going to go, we're going to send them over here, and we're going to get this thing finalized. We just gotta give him a little nudge. Oh, oh that's awkward. I'm gonna have to talk about that. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. Now he should, yep, become a that dude, a farmer. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So now these two are just gonna start trading. I need to get out of here. In a way that's safe. I can't build on top there. Which is unfortunate. So I think we're just going to... Uh, break this real fast. And now he's locked in. And this farm is 100% operational. I need to make it safe. It is very dangerous at the moment. But uh... Yeah dudes. So we got this carrot farm up and running. So we're basically... Basically, we're going to have infinite villagers, and when I start a villager trading hall, I can trade carrots. 
And I think they traded. Yep, look at that. So now we have carrots down here. And now we have infinite carrots, dudes. Okay, so the last thing I want to do in this episode, I think, is put up an iron farm. So, is it a little early to be putting up an iron farm? Yeah, yeah, probably, but the fact is, I don't really enjoy mining for iron that much. Um, and I'm trying to enjoy this series, so I'm gonna put up an iron farm. This is a, a design by Shulkercraft for 1.18. It's, uh, it's not a super broken farm, it's like, I don't know, th he said 300 uh, ingots per hour or something like that. It's pretty easy to build, it's made for early game. And I have all the stuff that I will need. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get going with this guy. So I'm also building the iron farm here because this, I believe, is exactly where I spawned in. And I want to have this farm at spawn so that um, it's kind of running in the background at all times and I'm constantly generating iron. That's generally speaking very convenient um so yeah that'll be nice the only issue is that i have villages all around and so that's probably gonna do funky stuff i might have to just go around breaking beds but that'll be okay so now we just have to catch some of these villagers that are roaming around i know i have the fancy little uh, villager breeder but uh that's way over that way so i'm gonna use these guys i think of course. There we go. Is there any way that I can... get around without having to mess around with this level change? See, we got this. We're not brand new. We know how this game works. Look at this! We're free-falling. Like Tom Petty. Alright. Um, so now I'm gonna need to get this guy out of this boat and into a minecart, which is gonna be a little interesting. Oh, no! Can't get out of this one, dude. Look at that, we got this guy. He didn't know it was coming. Alright, now, let's... Let's get him up here, huh? We just, uh, help him find his way a little bit. He goes right the way up. And he, he's a little farmer now. You're a farmer now. We do need that minecart back, because I don't have enough iron for multiple. Thank you. Hmm. We're stuck in here. Ooh. This is just our little villager loading dock. Like, yeah, you're not getting out of here, dude. Come on now. No levitating allowed. Alright. We here at the fauna street, like the laws of physics. Thank you very much. Working on number three. He doesn't seem to want to cooperate. No more tomfoolery, alright? I get it, you've seen some stuff. Well, you've seen half of some stuff. Never stood a chance, poor guy. Don't worry, it was always gonna end like this. Hey, you look weird like that. This is fine. Alright, let's go. Get him. No, where are you going? Move on. Oh, track is gone. And upsy daisy. All right, look at this, guys. Our last one. Oh yeah, we got the whole... got the damn levitating uh villagers. If I just break this, we gotta bring this back up. Does he fall in or does he escape? He escapes. <laughs> oh no! My poor villager. I think some important information was discovered about the well-being of the villagers that we're in charge of. Nope. Go that way. Cool, look at that. Nothing happened. Oh, and he's in. See? If you want to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs. That's all I'm saying. This dude seems locked in, doesn't he? Like he doesn't want to register that composter. 
I haven't traded with him. I don't know what he's up to. Unless he used to work at the carrot farm, my guy. Are you supposed to be at a carrot farm? And ladies and gentlemen, this wooden pick right here is exactly why I need an iron farm. Look, I don't mind mining, but I prefer mining for like diamonds and stuff like that. And uh, in previous updates, when you mine for diamonds, you would get a fair amount of iron along the way. And it's like, yeah, cool, whatever. Um, but nowadays, you get way less iron mining for diamonds. For the next step, I need a zombie. Um, the creeper won't do. He just does not scare the villagers the same way zombies do. And we have one right over here. Let's see if we could snag him before uh, things get more complicated. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Yep, just this way. Oh, things are getting complicated. Things are getting too complicated. Oop, I hit him. Let's go, sir. Just this way. Um, we should probably loop him around a little bit so he doesn't smack me while I, uh... Go up. He's following. He's following. Oh, don't hit me off, please. How do we actually get him in there? Without dying. Oh. I'm dumb. I am dumb. No, he died, didn't he? Alright, we're gonna do that again. Also, while we wait, we should probably get this name tag thing going, huh? Um, what should we name him? Let's see. Sir Charles IV? That sounds good. Oh. No. Oh, there we go. Guys, look at that. We've done it again. Okay, Sir Charles IV, you will stay there in perpetuity. And, uh, yeah, let's not forget to cover him up this time. Um, so the farm, the farm's working. It's not done yet, but it's working. So that's, that's the thing. So, basically all I have to do left is add some water. And, uh... The farm's pretty much ready. I have a little bit of... I have to add a redstone torch. And then this farm's complete. So, yeah. That guy dies. There's hoppers right there collecting everything. This water's always pushing him into the lava. That's pretty sick. Um, where do I add my torch? Oh, uh, that's awkward. Just like that. So now we got a redstone... Uh, clock pushing the zombie up and down so it's scaring the villagers and and taking them away and just like that I can start making iron tools again look at this this is gorgeous guys in any case we got a lot accomplished today we built this uh this awesome little iron farm that's really cheap uh really easy to make and it seems Sufficient enough, especially for early games, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's not a mega farm by any means, but you know, it does the job. We also got a nice little carrot farm going, and we got a villager breeding. So we, uh, we're right on track for some dope stuff. In any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you really liked it, feel free to subscribe. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.